Welcome everyone. It's Bob again from LSC Digital and I have Marcella here with me as well. Hello. And we are going to go over five common mistakes that you will probably make at some point and how to fix them. All right, so without further ado, our first mistake coming in here is simply you've sent out an email and you have the wrong image in it. For whatever reason, you left the wrong image in your mailing. Not to worry, we can fix that. So we're going to come right over to our sidebar. We're going to select our email, our emails and templates. And in this case, the email that we need to fix has already been sent. So we're going to click our sent tab, but you can also do this from a scheduled tab. Same steps, you just follow it right down the line. And it's this LSC newsletter. So we're going to select our mailing name. And right here, you see images, and we're going to click on images. And we accidentally sent this in last week's mailing, so we want to update the image. So you select the image, and you come over and you click update. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go right in to where we need our new image and we're going to click open it says do you want to update it with this file we say yes update and then you get this notification here it may take as long as 30 minutes for the global cache to be cleared all right not a problem so this message here will confirm for you the update and then you'll just have to check back every once in a while until this image here updates. And then once this image updates, you know that it has been updated for all of the mailings that have been sent out. But you also have to remember the file type. So if in this case, this image is a JPEG. So you cannot replace a JPEG with a PNG or vice versa. So you have to make sure that your file types match. So to piggyback off of you've sent the wrong photo, now you've sent the wrong link. So we're going to go in and we're going to update one of the links. So we're going to come over to our reports tab. We're going to come down to our reports classic and you're going to choose single mailing. Now depending on if it was already sent or is still sending is where you'll go next. If it's already sent, it'll be right here in with all of your other mailings and you just select the one that you need. If it's currently sending, you have to jump over to your sending tab and then the same process that I'm about to do follows for both. So in this case, it's already sent, so we're going to choose the mailing that we need. And right here under summary, we're gonna choose click-throughs and update. And then scroll down a little bit and you'll see every link name. So now this is kind of important and this is where naming all of your links when you're actually constructing your mailing comes in handy. Otherwise you'll see like right here this hyperlink with a bunch of numbers and you'll see it again down here. These are the names of those links but it's very easy if you just kind of name everything. So what we're going to change is we're going to change our top link, our button. So what we've got to do is click the edit. And right here, this full link is what people were previously directed to. Now, they're going to be directed to this link. And then you're going to click OK. And that's it. That change will flow through to all mailings that were previously sent as well as sending and as long as no one has already clicked the bad link, they will never click the bad link. Okay, so let's say you schedule a mailing and you want it to send a certain amount of emails per hour. So you throttle by a thousand emails per hour, but you have 40,000 contacts. Now there aren't enough hours in a day 
So you need to up that number because it's been five hours and only 5,000 emails have been sent. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll over to the navigation bar. You're going to go to settings, activity reports, and system activity. You're going to go into your active mailings tab and you're going to find the mailing that you want to change. So you'll see it's throttled by a thousand contacts per hour. You're going to click the button and you're going to pause it. Click OK. Now this screen will pop up. It looks pretty similar except the throttled number is now a link. Click on that and we're going to up it to 7,000 emails an hour so that your email gets sent to everybody within the day. Click OK. You'll see that this number is now 7,000. We're going to click the button again and click Resume. Click OK. And that's it. Now your email will be sent to 7,000 contacts per hour. And double check back here to make sure that it's on the right track. And that's how you re-throttle an email. So you're scheduling your mailing and you want this to go out on September 12th at 3 p.m. You click continue. You see that everything is great and wonderful and exactly how you want it, and you click Send as Scheduled. And then your boss tells you that it needs to go out next week. So you're going to go back into your Mailings tab, Email and Templates. In the top bar, you're going to go into Scheduled. You're going to find that mailing. You're going to click Unschedule. You're going to click OK. Click OK again. And then you're going to go back into your mailing template. Grab that same mailing. and follow the steps to send it out on the right date, all before your boss finds out you messed up. And you can go to our video about how to schedule a mailing. That'll be linked in the description below. So you've sent yourself a test email, and you're going through and checking your links. And you're just going through it so quickly that you accidentally check the unsubscribe link as well. And you get this message. Now because the program is so good about this, it'll take you off of the list and you will no longer receive emails. But that could be a problem if you're trying to send yourself test emails. Because if you send a test to your email, you won't receive it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the data tab click Databases, and you're going to go over to the Suppression List. Go to your Master Suppression List, and go to the Search tab. You want to search for your email, so email equals, and then type in your email address, click Search. And there's your email. You're going to click the box, and you're going to remove this contact from the suppression list. Once you get the notification that your email has been removed from this contact list, you're going to go back to the database, and you're just going to make sure that your email is in the database you want it to be in. So again, you're going to be under the search tab of your correct database, email, 
equals, type in your email address again, or in my case, I'm typing in Bob's email address, click search, and there it is. Now the next time you send a test email, you will actually receive that test. Just make sure not to unsubscribe yourself every single time. Who is LSC Digital? Everything we do is backed up by our quality data, meticulously collected and updated frequently by our team of experts. When you partner with LSC, you have your own team of experts who will work with you to plan and execute all of the steps of an effective program, from strategy and audience selection to content development and promotion. Our team delivers campaigns that appeal and connect with your target customers. This is the intersection of data and strategy that brings results.